the Hebrew words, I don't want to get into Hebrew because I don't, I'm not, I don't speak Hebrew. Uh, but I was just listening to Michael Brown and he, he's an expert in Hebrew and he's the one who said that the word from among them means from among their brothers. I mean, that's what Moses said from among their brothers that it would be an Israelite. Muslims say that Muhammad is that prophet. Very clearly, it is not. But uh, Nadir thinks it is. And so Nadir is the one who asked me to go uh, to do this. Uh, hello, Rob. Uh, welcome to do this debate about Deuteronomy 1818. And so anyway, so I prepared a few things. So I wanted to talk a, a little bit about those things. I'm hoping that we're going to have Sam come on and uh, and like he came because they started a uh, uh, they, they they started um, uh, they started yesterday. Oh, okay. Here's here's Nadif. Um, welcome, Nadif. And uh, you know you you know the things that I that I wanted to tell you uh, just really quickly. Um, you know, that uh, when Moses was talking to, uh, to the people, you know, he, you know, he said, one of the things that he said, uh oh, oh, are we losing you there? Oh, okay, one here. of the things I'm that here. he said yeah. was that, um, God said, oh, okay, hear me? Okay, welcome. Uh, it says, the Lord said, what they say is good. I will raise up for them a prophet, raise up for them, for, you know, for the Israelites, a prophet like you, brothers, and I will put my words in his mouth like, uh, uh, he will tell them everything I command him. And I myself will call to account anyone who uh, does not listen to the words of that prophet who speaks in my name. And there's several things in there, and uh, I know that you've done several debates about this. And so my thing was, uh, you know, one thing that kind of jumped out to me was that he said, I will put my words in his mouth. I'll put my words in his mouth. And, and the thing is, is that, um, you know, if you look, you know, um, let me just, let me just bring this. I want to bring this on right here. Oh, dude. Okay. Um, the thing that I was going to bring up is the situation that is recorded in the by uh, Tabari, by Wakadi, and by uh, uh, about the the subject of the satanic verses. Because in that situation, it says that Satan put words in the mouth of Muhammad. You know, here God says, I will put words into uh, Stephen, you 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 uh, you're breaking up. I'm sorry, I can't I can't hear you. Stephen, uh, I'm my sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. My internet my internet is so bad and so uh, it's going back and forth, man. I'm trying to bring up this passage. I want to look at this passage from El Tabari which talks about the situation of the satanic verses where mm -hmm. Muhammad was sitting with the Qurayshis. He was sitting with the Qurayshis and he said to them, you, you know, uh, let's bring it on here. Maybe we could just read it. Okay. 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 And uh, he was aggrieved. Uh, Muhammad was aggrieved by the, uh, the Qurayshis' rejection of the message he brought them. And he secretly wished that the Allah exalted uh, is he reveals something to him which would bring him and his people closer to each other. Keen as he was to see them accept faith, one day he sat in one of the congregations of Quraysh, which attracted 
a huge number of its members. And he wished that Allah exalted as he, he does not reveal to him. Oh, you're breaking up, Stephen. So, Stephen, you're breaking up. Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Oh, I'm sorry about this, man. My internet, man. This internet. So uh, uh, yeah, it looks like it looks like your voice. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. It looks like your voice uh, ain't showing right away. I'm sorry, you get nobody can hear here. you. Like every thirty yeah. seconds. Okay. It looks. It looks like your voice ain't right. showing right away. And so, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and talk just because I'm gonna hear too good either because he's he's well let me read to you guys what this says okay i'm sorry i can't hear you so he was You need to give Sam Shimon the link, I think, the, for for what's for the for the show. In fact, I'll give it to him. Uh, let me see if I can. Are you here? Are you here now, dude? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, Sam needs a link. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to him right now. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to him right now. Okay. Uh, okay. Come on. Link right. Darn it. Darn it. This internet sucks, man. Come on, be nice, Sam. <laughs> be nice, bro. Okay, here's Sam. Sam is with us. Hi. Hey. hey, welcome, Sam. Sorry about that. Yeah, you got the screen up. You call me, I yeah. call you back, you don't pick up, and you make me wait, so I don't get it. Bro, I, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm, my internet really sucks, and so <laughs> it's cutting off over and over. Yeah, and and this, this guy is uh, like a dog attacking in the comments okay. uh, i'd like to go ahead sam and, and yeah, i just want to say one that. thing yeah before you do that i was saying i just want people to know why for the record i'm treating this guy like a dog i have articles here where he slandered people threatened to kill people osama abdullah i have the email oh, I didn't. let I me didn't. read it will, let me read it let me read the email because i know you're going to lie through your teeth i'm going to read the email we have a post where he says shabir ali son is cursed that allah struck his son blind because he's a dog, he has no respect, so that's why he gets none. Let me read the email sent to me by Sami Zatari that I have archived because he's a liar like his prophet. That's why he deserves no respect. So here you go. You said you did, right? You wicked liar. I'm gonna give you your former email address. I don't know if you use it now, so that people can hear what kind of dog we're dealing with. Here it is. From I came here for a debate. Uh, what is okay, it? let me do my point. We're it's not part of the debate, so yeah. shut up and listen. <laughs> now, dear at examine the truth.com thursday september 7 2006 12 50 a.m okay let me read this to you and i want everyone to hear it and i want the young children to, uh, cover your ears osama you fucking kafir how dare you insult our prophet by saying he has a mental disease wallahi if i ever meet you on the street you're done and he doesn't even know how to spell <clears throat> and it will happen watch your back and as for your gay lover sammy the fact that you support this piece of shit, Osama, the same holds true for you. I have ways and means, I promise you. I have made a screenshot of your defamation of our prophet, so you don't try to hide your kufar. Thanks, Nadir Ahmed, www.examinethetruth.com. Another email from this dog. 
<clears throat> Nadir at examinethetruth.com. Thursday, September 7th, 2006, 307 AM. You fucking kafir. You think you can arm bar me? Lol. Ill, he can't even spell. He's just as illiterate as his prophet. I'll be the one breaking your elbow. Then I'll triangle, choke you, and force you to take back your insults against Prophet Muhammad. Then I'll ground and pound your ugly face. If I was them, I would call the FBI on this filthy dog. It's going to be great. I'll pass your guard in a matter of minutes and mount you. And I'll slam my fist right in your eye socket. Let me repeat what this satanic terrorist bastard just said to a fellow Muslim. I'll slam my fist right in your eye socket. And I'll say, what did you say about our prophet? Who is old and stupid now, Osama? Let's do it this weekend. You can come down to my jujitsu gym. If this guy does jujitsu, then Hussein does ballet dancing. I'll arrange it with the fellas down here. Or did you want me to come up to your gym? This is jihad. Thanks, Nadir. Ahmed, www.examinethetruth.com. I got all the emails saved, sent to me by Sami Zatri. And this is the same dog that had a YouTube page under his unya, father of his daughter, where he said Nadir, I'm sorry, Nabil Qureshi was actually killed by Allah, which is why he died of cancer. This is the kind of filthy dog you're dealing with. He deserves no respect, and I'm going to humiliate him, especially now that he's lying in your comment section, Hussein. Do not give this guy respect. That's why Muslims hate this dog, because he goes around slandering Muslims, threatening to kill them. He says Shabir Ali's son was cursed by Allah. This is why his Shabir Ali's son is blind. Uh, blind. We have all the posts. I have the links. Say, <clears throat> and he threatens to kill other Muslims. This is the bastard you're dealing with, and this is how I'm going to treat him. So let's do it. You heard it, right, Hussein? I got the emails right here. They're all safe. Wow. Filthy with master. So don't give this guy respect. This is why I'm treating him this way. He is dirt. That's why I know Muslims respect this dog. Watch what I'm doing to you, Nadir. You filthy, satanic bastard. You've been running your mouth too much. Now you've run into me. Watch what I'm doing to you, what Jesus did to your filthy bastard, Muhammad. So now you ready? Let's begin. The cross-examination. Little coward. All right. Well, um, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know all these things. I've seen a couple of debates well, I have right between here. Nadir me and, and with, Do the, me a favor. with the apostate uh, prophet and with Michael Brown. And uh, so, anyway, that's 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 pretty much what saying? I knew. He reached out. Here's the link. He reached out. Here's to me. He reached out to me to in order to do a debate. He well, asked me, it, and so I brought. I said, sure. I'm willing to do a debate. And so anyway, but uh you got the link right there, right? I just gave you the link. Okay. I just gave you all the emails are in the link. All of them. Okay. Sent to me by his Muslims because they had reached out to me years ago to debate him because they couldn't stand him. Muslims reaching out to a Christian to emulate this dog. What does that tell you how much they hate this dog? It's right there, all the documentation. Share it with the people. I want people to see the documentation. You're dealing with a sick, narcissistic. He's probably even maybe a sociopath. I don't know because he's not normal. He's not healthy. He's just as sick as his prophet Muhammad who's burning in hell. Now, let me show you where he attacks Shibri Ali and we can begin. And I'm going to bury him like Jesus buried his prophet. Uh, okay? Steve, I'm sorry. I'm not listening to this guy. You know, this personal attack. Are we going to start the debate or what are we no, going to no, do? You're going to address it. Why did you no. threaten Osama? No, no, I didn't threaten anybody. I suck it, you filthy okay. dog. Okay, listen. Why? Okay, I'm why? Um, Okay. Well, you okay. know, um, there you go. Well, uh, Sam, yes, I want to, I want to go ahead. Yes, let's do it. Do cross you know, this your picture in the cross examination. Right? Yeah. Here's all I'm asking. I don't mean to talk over you, Hussein, but your connection is bad. In the cross X, he can, he can only ask me questions, not preach. Yeah. Just make sure he doesn't preach because that's my turn. To cross-examine him. Well, well, Stephen, I want to make something clear. You know, I think uh, last you time you would say nothing. Can talk, can I say nothing? Let's get there. You say no, nothing, not, but you sit there. Shut up. No. Forget it. Okay, um, he, you guys. I'm gonna. He's running away. He's running away. Let's begin. Shut up! I'm gonna muzzle you. Let's. No, no, no. Okay. Listen, I'm. A... I muted both of them, you guys, because I can't get in the word in edgewise. I'm gonna go ahead and say what I wanted to say first. Okay. I wanted to say something first. I, 
didn't get a chance to say it, but I just wanted to, there's one point I wanted to make about Deuteronomy 18.18. That's what originally we were going to talk about. We got a lot of different stuff going on here. And so anyway, I'm, I want to, I want to present what I want to say first, and then I want to get you guys' comment on it. And, and dude, there's so much involved here. It's, it's hard, but I, I want to go ahead and present this. And then, uh, I'd like to get you guys' comment on this. And, you know, like I said, uh, Nadir reached out to me. He wants to debate on Deuteronomy 18.18. And one thing in particular that says in Deuteronomy 18, 18, is that God says, I will put my mouth, I put my words in the mouth of the prophet. I will put my words in the mouth of the prophet. Okay. And, uh, and, and then I was telling Nadir uh, Ahmed, I was telling him about what it says in, this is in Etabari. And it, this is about a situation where Muhammad was with the people of Quraysh, trying to win them over, trying to win them over. You know, Frank, I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. I love you and appreciate you, but I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. Okay? When you talk to me like that, it makes me seem like I'm a weakling and like I'm spineless. I'm not. Please don't talk to me like that. Respect me, please. Okay. Um, all right. It says here that um, uh, that when Muhammad was trying to get the attention of his crazy friends, it says that he said, he said, the messenger of Allah uh, recited, and this is a passage in the Quran, have you thought about Alat al-Usa al-Manat, the other? And then it says that one of the most respected historic Islam. Sorry about that. The internet went. It says. And then it says here, the devil put on his tongue what he secretly hoped and said. So here it says the devil put words on the mouth of Muhammad. Now, in 1818, it says that God says, I will put my words on his mouth. Here it says the devil put words on the tongue of Muhammad. And I can say, how could this be the prophet that God predicted when it says, dude, this isn't a Christian book. This is a Tabari. This is a history, uh, the greatest historian, Islamic historian, saying that the devil put these words on the mouth of Muhammad. And so, you know, that was what I, that was my main uh, issue that I wanted to raise is, uh, you know, here God says, I put my words in his mouth. But then a Tabari says, that the devil put words on the mouth of Muhammad. So anyway, that was a point that I wanted to raise. And so uh, anyway, I will, uh, uh, based on that, I want to go ahead. And first of all, I'd like to hear what, uh, what Nadir Ali has to say about this, uh, what your comment is about that. Okay, go ahead, Nadir. Okay, thank you. And I love to talk about these alleged satanic verses because it'll be game over for Christianity, believe me. Uh, here's what I would like. I'm going to tell you right now, you know, I think from, from yesterday, this, this discussion descended into uh, an argument where people were shouting over each other and screaming. And, and I want to let you know for sure, I have never won a shouting debate in my life. So we'll give that one to say. Answer the question, Nadir. Answer the question. No, no, Stephen. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Right. I'm starting Stephen? the three minutes now for Nadir. No, no, no. no. We're going to do cross examination. Yes. We're going to do cross examination. Okay. One minute back and forth. Okay, no, no. Would like do it the way we did it yesterday, Nadir. I know you're. You know, see, part of the cowardice of Sam Shimon is he wants to scream and shout you down because he doesn't have a good argument. Actually, well, the thing is, both of you guys are screaming and shouting me down. You guys, I'm asking you a question. 
Okay. Is the answer. I'm asking you a question. I want you to respond to what I brought up first. Okay. Yeah. Answer. Okay. So uh, Nadir, you got three minutes. You got three minutes to respond to this. Am I wrong in what I said that, um, am I wrong in what I said that, that God said he'll put his words on the mouth of the prophet, but uh, in the Talbot, it is a Satan put his words on Muhammad's mouth. If I'm wrong, saying, tell me. Who said Thank you. Okay. Yeah, more references that are Sahih, so he doesn't okay. tap that. Okay. So say top of the week. Okay. Yeah, can I, I okay. Go ahead, man. Uh, let me just start my time over here. So, um, let me just give me one second. Okay. Satanic verses is really game over for Christianity. I love to talk about this topic, and uh, actually, it was game over uh, last night when San Shimon admitted okay. the scientific <laughs> errors in the Bible. He's lying. Yeah. Okay, stop lying. Okay, start my time again. Stop lying, Nadir. Stop lying. I'm going to use the scientific data to silence your fake prophet. Since you want to talk about... Yeah, don't run, you little coward. You're you're finished. I'm going to destroy you, Sam. Here, let's talk about the scientific data. Here you go. You ready? About divorce? You were talking about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a whoa, 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 we need a time limit. I'm not, we need time where nobody interrupts. Because you keep okay. lying. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Nadir. You got three minutes, okay? The okay, internet it's and very, It's very important that you enforce the rules. There's no interruptions, okay? okay Can you three enforce minutes, that rule? Three minutes. No, with no interruptions. I no, I was interrupted. And I want to make it clear, one, no one no, interrupts one, you, one you thing, one, thing, one thing okay. to say, you better not slander me and lie. I didn't make scientific mistakes. I'm gonna very strong. You, you slandered me and lied, Sam. I don't, Would this you, is a debate, you, you can start, defend yourself. I'm not gonna start your time again. Go ahead. No, I'm not gonna go unless you enforce the rules. There's there's three, there's a- uh, You no stop, I mean, you shut up, he's gonna be enforcing the rules. Get to your point. I don't have to, look, obviously Sam is very scared. We're going to destroy Christianity very quickly, easy. I'll, I'll turn to the Muhammad, Shut up, get to your point. But we can't interrupt each other. Uh, Stephen, you either enforce the rules or I walk. Simple. I want a real. Because I told you, you're going to be show me today. Yeah, okay. listen, I'm going to let you know. Sam, it comes to... Sam let him respond, okay? Okay? Yeah. Uh, let him respond. Now, yeah. I've started it four times already. Thank you. Please start. Okay, okay? thank you. Respond for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this. Okay. We're going to talk about I'm the satanic to verses. Again. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about the satanic verses in in Islam, and we're also going to talk about the satanic verses in the Bible, and we'll compare the two. So now going back to the uh, issue you were talking about, about satanic verses, the, the book inside inside Deuteronomy chapter 18, 18, it says, God says, I will put my words in his mouth. We have that. It's called Hadith al-Qudsi, these are the words of God put into the mouth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So he clearly passes that test. Now let's get to the issue of Ibn Ishaq, or I'm sorry, the, 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 the satanic verses. Now I know a lot of people, they talk about, well, this is a weak hadith and this is not reliable or trusted. I don't go there because it is a mute point. And here's the reason why. If you read the story inside Syria, Ibn Ishaq, this was a satanic attack. Muhammad had no intention to make those statements. And when you read further inside the Ibn Ishaq, then God basically consoles Prophet Muhammad. He says, this is okay. Uh, this was, and then he says, whatever Satan throws, I will, whatever Satan casts in, I will basically cast out and I will protect the Quran. So it's very important here that Muhammad had no intention to say those words. Now, what's very interesting is, we go back to Deuteronomy chapter 20, I'm sorry, chapter 18, verse 20. It says that the prophet who speaks with Zud, Zud means emphasis, intention, then that prophet will be put down. And that's the whole moral of the story of Deuteronomy, I'm sorry, of the satanic verses. Muhammad never talked with Zud. In Arabic, it's Zuhud. In Hebrew, it's Zud, same word. So the so Deuteronomy 18.20 is actually defending Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he had no intention to say those words. So this, so once again, what, I don't get into this, this is authentic or not, because the story is a mute point. And, and this shows that Deuteronomy 18.18 is talking about Muhammad because it defends him. Now, with the remaining one minute, let's talk about the satanic verses of Christianity. It says in the Bible, that the devil took him 
to a high mountain. What the? The devil took Jesus to a high mountain? Jesus was sent to be tempted in the wilderness. But it says Satan took him to the high mountain. So what's what Sam Shimon has to answer here is, did Jesus go willingly or unwillingly with Satan? Because he believes he's God, he's going to have to concede to the fact that he went willingly with Satan, which completely debunks Christianity because we have Jesus now, a follower, uh, the following the uh, uh, commands of Satan. So the satanic verses clearly debunks Christianity because part of the Christian belief is that Jesus has to be sinless. But the text of the Bible says Satan took him to a high mountain, and if Satan tries to grab okay. me, we're going to fight. Up. Get off me. Time's up. Go ahead. Yeah. Time's up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for responding. Sam, can you respond to what uh, I don't, either what I said or what, what uh, Naduk just said? By the way, he was saying, I got to partly blame you for allowing this guy to blaspheme Jesus because you asked the question. You didn't let us do the cross-examination. Can you sit back, Hussein, let me deal with this guy? Because he just blasphemed Jesus and want to bury his prophet. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, now, <laughs> okay, now let me read what he didn't want you to read. This is his fake satanic prophet saying, I have obeyed Satan and spoken his words, and he's become a partner in God's matter with me. So Muhammad just committed shirk according to his fake prophet's own words. Now, just to tell you how satanically deceitful and stupid Nadir is, you don't need to be an Einstein to figure there is no way that the true God would have his prophet saying, have you considered Alat al Uzamanat, <clears throat> the third, the other? These are high flying cranes whose intercession are accepted with Allah. So now he wants to tell us that Muhammad was so stupid into thinking that Allah would actually allow him to praise goddesses, even though all throughout the Quran and in the Old Testament, New Testament, the praise of gods and goddesses are forbidden. No, it was clearly Muhammad's intention to appease the pagans and then blame Satan for his stupidity and idolatry and blasphemy. Now, let me muzzle this dog for blaspheming Jesus, Muhammad's God and judge. Matthew 4 actually shows that Jesus went into the wilderness to have a showdown with Satan and defeat Satan. Satan was not able to manipulate Jesus as he was able to manipulate Muhammad, inspire Muhammad to rape women, to treat them as whores, and to then mount a young minor. That's what Satan did to Muhammad because he controlled Muhammad. He owned Muhammad, but glory to Jesus Christ. Jesus went into the wilderness, faced Satan when Jesus was at his weakest physically, because he's also a man, and he defeated Satan. Unlike your bastard Muhammad, whom Satan molested and inspired and controlled to the point that he ended up blaming Satan for praising three goddesses. You don't need to be an Einstein at your to know. There's no way in hell that could come from God unless your prophet is that illiterate and stupid that he makes you look intelligent. So let's see how you're going to do. Okay, thank you. So here we see Christianity is finished. Jesus yeah, went rough. with, uh, please, no interruption. Jesus no, went with, every time you try to attack, I'm going to make fun of you. This is a debate, this is a debate, Sam. Okay, no, it's cross I'm appealing to the Cross-examination, you admit please. that Muhammad was inspired by your okay. prophet. No interruption, That's a, that is a cross-examination. Do you admit? You're, done. you're finished, Simone, you're running away. I'm running away, I'm running to Muhammad to spit I'm on I'm appealing to the moderator, step do in, you please. you admit, do you the admit? Moderator, Muhammad Satan Hussein, who are praising three goddesses. Hussein, That's cross-examination, Stephen. Go ahead, go ahead and respond, you know. Yep. Go ahead okay. and respond. Hussein, I, I believe you did promise me that there will be no interruptions. I will have this my is period cross time. Text. No, as this I told is. you, listen, uh, Hussein, I'm going to tell you right now. He's wasting if, Hussein, if it comes to a shouting match where we're screaming over each other, I have never won a debate like that. Let's start the cross act. It doesn't have to be that, okay? You're just, not just allowing me to replace the I haven't heard an answer from you. You know, I'm and he is right that you blasphemed okay. the Lord. You blaspheme what I believe in. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't do that. I wish you would just focus on the subject. 
You guys are funny. Well, we focus Will on the you subject. allow me to the cross X, yeah, Saddam Hussein, please? Cross X. You, know, you, you know, know what, Sam? I, I don't understand what this cross exam is. I don't I don't understand what this is. This is something different, okay? What, what, uh, explain to me what you mean by cross examination. What was I don't it yesterday, Hussein? Do you remember yesterday when I asked questions, he tried to answer? Remember that? That's the cross X. So you got 10 minutes and then you yeah. ask questions and then he has to answer. Yeah, that's what I agreed to do today. Remember, I said we're not done until we finish the cross X. So I'm here. But for some reason, you guys are changing the rules because I don't want this dog to run. It, it's not it's not that I'm changing. I don't understand what your, your rules are. OK, we're saying you were here yesterday. You I don't know. It's not the rules are. So do you want to have like 10 minutes? Yes. To cross -examine? So and then he can cross examine me. Yeah. Okay, so it's 10, 4, 10 minutes for him, 10 minutes for you. Uh, okay, so. I don't agree. No, no you actually so you did yesterday. It's recorded. Yeah. We said we're going to do it today. Yes, you did. The rules, let's, yesterday. Are you going to let me talk? Uh, let's start the cross X, you coward. My first question. No, no, we're not starting anything. That your not. prophet recited verses praising the three goddesses. And does it take a genius to know that's blatant idolatry can't come from God? That's my first question. Time me. Go ahead, Hussein. Time me. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start the timer, you guys, just because we got to get some kind of order here so that we can hear something. Okay. Answer the question. My so time I'm go ahead and start. Answer the question. You agreed okay. yesterday. Cross X. It's recorded. It's on my YouTube channel. We said we're coming to Cross X. Yeah. Stop, you coward. Answer. Okay, Stephen, I'm appealing to you. I cannot be interrupted, or else I'm not going to have this debate. Now, Sam Shimon is not. Answer wait, the wait, question. Let me connect, Stephen. No, well, I'm not talking to you. Did you agree yesterday? Yes, did we you did. agree yesterday? Okay. Come today. Yes. Will let you let me cross exam. Let me play. Let me play. Okay. I got the clip. Let me play. You okay. Okay. You guys, you yeah. guys, can you get? Can you let me? Can you let me do this, you guys? Okay. Now, let me just do this. Okay. I want to give you 10 minutes, Nadir, give you 10 minutes, and you can cross-examine him. Now, during the cross-examination, you ask questions, and you let him answer. Then, in 10 minutes, he will cross-examine you. Now, wh why don't you want to do that? That's what you were doing yesterday. Why don't you want to do that? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, so, no, we are absolutely not going to do that. So, what the cowardice of what's going on here of Sam Shimon is he wants to turn this into a shouting match, and that's basically what happened. We were shouting over each other. We were screaming at each other, and I have never I'm won the a clip shouting match. Can I, I please, like play the clip. Stephen, can I please talk? Sure. I have never won yeah, that, a shouting match. This is what he has to say. Stephen, I'm telling you right now, I have never won a shouting match in my life. Sam wins that one. I want what we can definitely do a cross examination. You period. never want a debate but, in your life, period. Yeah, but I'm sorry, Stephen. Stephen, what I want you to do what is, is it, do what do you mean by cross examination? This is let what I don't understand. You. Yeah, here, let me explain okay. to you. Okay, so definitely we could do one minute back and forth. However, nobody is allowed to interrupt you in that one minute. And so that is what I'm only asking you for. I don't want to be interrupted in my period when I'm talking. So if you could, this will be an awesome cross-examination period. You know? I got to go to work here in a few minutes. So what I'm going to do. back tonight to finish the cross X. I want you to come here, back listen. tonight, Nadir. Listen. We're going to finish the cross X. You better show up tonight. Yeah, let's do it because you're. Okay. Uh, you're wait, wait, listen, yeah. listen oh, to this coward. Guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, okay, you guys weren't listening to me, so I'm gonna mute both of you. Listen. Since I got both of you guys here, well, what I was gonna do is give you six minutes each, okay? Listen, and and, and let me just. Oh, is Sam going away? Listen okay, to this. Sam's going away. We gotta record right. this filthy dog. Well, um, yeah. Okay, what, what, Here, listen, we're not finishing it. He's going to come back later on your show. We're going to finish it. That's why I don't give him any closing statements till he comes back. So when you're done, I'm up all night because we're not we're not done with this debate because I want to end his career. So make sure you set up a time for him to come because there's no closing statements until we finish it. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I'll, that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay, you guys. I got, a, I got an idea. Like I got an idea. Do you want to come back? Yeah, uh, if you, let me to come back. Agree, okay. So, uh, uh, what, what, what time are you talking, Sam? When you're free. When I'm free. Okay, I'll be done with work about 9.30. Okay, that should be good for him. 9.30, your time or my time? My time. 9.30, that's like 12 o'clock my time. No, it's, we're going to do this tomorrow because that's too okay, late. Okay, tomorrow, give me, okay, I'm free tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> 
You're what time now? Uh, right now it's four o'clock here where I am. Well, I can do tomorrow your time, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Is, your time. Is that good for you, now, dude? Let's do uh, let's do one o'clock. Can we do one? Who's time? One. Uh, one o'clock Eastern. That would mean his one o'clock Eastern. You got to push a little later. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit. Let's, let's, do two Eastern. let's do two Eastern. Okay, that would be eleven your time, Hussein. No, that that I can't do that. I, I, if we could do it, uh, three o'clock Eastern because I could be here at one o'clock. So three o'clock in the near Eastern. That should be good. No, three o'clock. Okay, what yeah, time? Three Eastern time. Three Eastern. That's oh, we'll, be one, we'll be what time here? Be noon. noon. Uh, three would be your time. Uh, noon, right? Noon. Yeah. All right, that, that's good with me. If you want to come tomorrow, at noon. Yeah. Yeah, three, right? Three o'clock Eastern. We can do three. Okay, Eastern. so we'll he'll send us the link to stay there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow because I got to run out myself. All right, I'll okay. see you okay. here. All right. Okay. All right. Well, did you hear him? We said we're not doing closing statements. We're gonna finish cross X. Do I need to play that? Play it again? He said yes. All right. You heard that, Nadu? Yeah. So can, can I talk? Yeah. Now let's do the cross X. Let's talk. Let's let him talk. I'm gonna tell you for a third time. Okay, for sure. I'm gonna tell you right now. If it's coming to a screaming and shouting competition, Sam wins. I have never won a screaming shouting competition in my life. You haven't what won. I'm requesting of you the same uh, is to put a time limit where we can each go back and forth for one minute. Then we can do the cross examination oh, period. No interruptions. Like we can did do that. Ten minute cross X where I ask you yeah. for ten minutes and ask me. So what Sam yes. is doing here? He wants to basically. Let me play it again, Hussein, because this dog is wasting our time. Hussein, you're wasting. This what guy's you wasting, wasting our time. Well, can I say oh. something? He tries to send us into a shouting competition, which is just ridiculous. And this is where he feels comfortable at. But I'm saying let's yeah, put yeah, some I'm order and sure. structure to this discussion because obviously he is the type of person who wants to engage in a screaming and shouting competition because he doesn't have good arguments. He's just been refuted on yeah. satanic versus yeah. Christianity yeah. yeah. is done. Yeah. And now it's just a matter of finishing yeah. uh, yeah. the yeah. Let you yeah. have yeah. the I'm playing because clip. another prospect is coming. So three, three, yeah. three minutes. Okay. Okay, you took all the yeah, yeah, you're not, okay. Hold on, yeah. calm down for a second. You no, 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 this is my time. This is my okay, time. You're not listening. We'll, we'll give you more time. I'll give you six more minutes. No, no, I'll give you six more minutes, but you're not listening. Ask what he's not letting me preach. It's my time, your time to ask, not preach. You guys just you know the like a dog. No, this is, I am asking you a question okay. here. Okay, I'll give you so six you brought minutes. Jesus, Jesus has no intrinsic. Uh, comparison between uh, Muhammad, I'm sorry, you you, between Jesus like and Moses. I want you to give me one. Not, now, don't take all, don't take all my time. I want you to give me one intrinsic value or quality between yes. Jesus and Moses. Just give me one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Debate. God, so are we gonna have a debate? Face to face. Let the Father speak to Jesus face to face. Let me give you a second. One. That's not intrinsic. Yes, and it is. Deuteronomy thirty-four ten. Deuteronomy 3, 4, 10. Not intrinsic at all. Like Moses, whom the Lord spoke face to face. Let me tell you what intrinsic means. Let me tell you what intrinsic means. Well, next question. Quality or attribute of a person. And the attribute of a person is seeing God face to face. Go to the next question. Okay, the text actually says, whom the person. Okay, Jesus cannot be that person because as saw from Sam, there is nothing intrinsic. He's preaching, right? You see that, right? He's not asking questions. He's completely you, different. You see, Nadir, I'm exposing as a dog. You're the one who doesn't a answer questions. Oops. That's a genetic trait. That's an attribute. That's right. what I'm asking you. Show me the likeness in Jesus. What is it? Okay, is this time up? Because you notice know saying you have Try again. Show it to me. I was saying I'm trying to get your attention because this guy's preaching. I know, I know. Okay. Okay. Embarrass yourself. You know guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, because uh, we have my Did work situation, him? I got to go to work. You guys don't let me, Mike. Don't let me do. Don't let me do something. Let's see what you're doing. Okay, guys. You guys, um, in order to, to, to get some Oh, it's great to have both of you guys here. It's great to have both of you guys here. Let's go ahead and try to get 
some order so that you guys could talk to each other. And, you know, one thing I'm thinking is, is, is it okay with you? If I give you, yes. Can we just 